Good morning, I'm Earth Dr. Reese Halter, and you're listening to Earthcast, SOS.com. Did you know that blue whales are at least twice as big as the largest known dinosaurs? These extraordinary sentinels of the sea, weighing in at a couple hundred tons, consume as much as four tons of krill each summertime day. Blue whales, the champion and truest broadcasters, with their low-frequency calls at over 185 decibels, short, powerful bursts, analogous to 19th century Morse code, clearly audible on the other side of entire ocean basins over 3,100 miles away. At over 100 feet long, by the time Blue's tail leaves the surface for a deep dive, it's farther than most scuba divers will have ever ventured into the ethereal abyss. There are between eight and 9,000 blues left in the oceans, and the highest concentrations of blues are found off California's coast in rich feeding grounds. The climate crisis, in conjunction with over-harvesting all sea life, crabs, lobsters, and these bloody awful one-mile-long curtains of death gill nets are having a disastrous consequence on blues, grays, humpbacks, and even sperm whales off the coast of California. California's Pacific Ocean is, in effect, a migratory superhighway between the Sea of Cortez and the Arctic Ocean. This year alone, more than 60 whale entanglements have been recorded in bloody fishing gear, and nobody knows how many whales have gone unnoticed. It's a spike of over 400%. The whales have altered their feeding by moving closer to the shore following the massive blob of warm water, courtesy of the unintended consequences of spewing 96 million metric tons daily of heat-trapping, climate-altering, subsidized fossil fuels into the atmosphere. It's an awful situation, and those wretched monofilament plastic fishing lines are wrapping around whales' pectoral fins and their flukes or their tails, and they're slicing into them to the bone. Unless the fishing gear is removed, it's a slow and excruciating death that takes up to six months before the whales perish. The crab fisheries in California are playing hell with the whales. And because it's a $100 million annual industry, they are, as usual, bullying the lawmakers. Ladies and gentlemen, the only way we, as a species are going to make it in one piece to mid-century, that's 35 years from now, is to protect every last living whale with laws. The fishing industry is killing our oceans at an unprecedented rate. The only way to stop this daily carnage is with laws. The filter-feeding whales are fertilizing the sea with their flocculent fecal plumes, their poop, 
which is rich in iron and nitrogen. They alone are helping us to regrow megatons of missing phytoplankton from the climate crisis that has prevented cold currents from upwelling, coming to the surface, carrying iron and nitrogen to regrow phytoplankton. The ecosystem services that the whales are providing us, humans, all of us, supersede crab fisheries or any other fisheries by hundreds of trillions of dollars. We are missing 40% of the oxygen-bearing phytoplankton globally. Those plants, the phytoplankton, provide humans, all of us, with three out of every four breaths of air, no matter where you live on the planet. Minus oxygen, humans will die. The time to protect all whales is now. The rogue nations of Japan, Iceland, Denmark, and Norway that are commercial whaling require punishment. Please, don't ever buy anything made by these bully countries, Japan, Iceland, Denmark, and Norway. Help my friends at Sea Shepherd Australia. That's seashepherd.org.au. Protect the Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary from Japanese whale poachers and all other poachers who are heading south, the Japanese whale poachers, that is. They are heading south now to massacre minke whales. The whales need our help. And we need the whales to breathe. Fair ball. Hashtag love is the solution. Earthcast SOS needs a helping hand. Come on to drreese.com. That's D-R-R-E-E-S-E dot com, drreese.com. And make it happen by clicking on the donate button. Or pick yourself up for your fam family or friends a excellent holiday pack. The holiday pack consists of a an organic tea from my Save Nature Now world tour, an organic tote bag that you shop with daily and ixnay all plastics because they're a thing of the past, and a copy of my latest book, Shepherding the Sea, which I'll autograph, all for only 49 bucks at drreese.com. Just do it. I'm Earth Doctor, Reese Halter, reminding you to protect our planets.